Um, what I've got here is a couple of favorite tools. Um, I can't say I've used this axe a lot, but it's a double bit axe, and I did buy it out of an antique store. It's razor sharp, and it's built for this kind of work. Uh, can't say I've used it a lot, but I do have it standing by, and it looks pretty too. But a tool that has really paid for itself here is a draw knife. And uh, what I do with this draw knife is uh, you see these nice, uh, beautiful, peeled spruce logs on my porch. And it's kind of a common theme that I, I plan to continue with on all my buildings here. Uh, and they're, they're readily available in a forest. So what I do is I select the tree I want, which generally is nice and tall and straight. And uh, once I get it on the ground and I lop it into size, then I use my draw knife and I bark it. And it's, a, it's not a difficult process, but it's a lot of physical work, especially when you're doing several of them. And you just grab it, and with the bark on the log, you just, in long strokes like so, you peel that log, and you peel the bark off, and then you're, at, you're really left with a, uh, a beautiful, almost white, lightly blonde, uh, beautiful, straight, relatively smooth log. And uh, you can use it to build with it. I could use it in the place of, say, a, a beam that you'd buy at the store. And it should last forever because it's up off the ground. It's uh, peeled so it can dry and cure out. What we have here is this is where a limb was sticking out of the tree. And even though I, I chopped it off smooth, say, with an axe or probably a, a chainsaw, when you're barking it, sometimes you bite into that hardwood because the grain's running in a different direction and it's pretty dense. So sometimes you really have to fight to get through it. And then uh, in you the process of doing that, you can bite into your wood a little bit and I guess it gives it some character. But uh, you kind of run into that situation on, on all those knots like that. Some are just a little bit more stubborn than others. And uh, that's, that's why you can kind of get those bite marks in there. But overall, um, it still gives you kind of a neat look. It kind of kind of gives it the rustic look, and um, it makes you have to buy less beams at the store. That's for sure.